Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk to you briefly. There really isn't a video for it, but the audio is better than actually texting. You know, text. Um, a lot of people think that World of Warcraft to make gold, it's a good idea to make a mule. Now, I'm not exactly sure what a mule is. From my understanding, it's a person that sits in, a character that sits at the auction house, and you mail them everything that you, they want to sell, or that you want to sell. That, you know, you, sell, you log on to that character, you sell it, and then you come back. In theory, it sounds good, but, you know, when you get to the 80 level cap, you can go to an auction house almost instantly from anywhere. You know, dollar in, if you set your hook in dollar in, hurt the dollar in, go to any auction house, and then boom, you're there. Not a big deal. Fly to dollar in with your epic flyer, it's not really as slow, you know, you just be there, whatever. Um, so the whole getting there quick is out. But if you have a mule and they have, let's say, someone outbids you on something you're bidding on, or someone, you know, does something, whatever, screw it, and you want to, you wouldn't know about that until you logged in, but by the time you logged in, the item might already have been up, the sale could have been gone, and you could actually miss out on some opportunities to make money, whereas if you were on playing on that character, it would say, you've been outbid on, fill in the blank. So that's one reason why I wouldn't recommend a mule. Now, I might be wrong, that might not be the definition of mule to them, but I have characters I use the auctioneer add-on, and I have a character for enchanting right now, and I will make a death knight for mining and jewel crafting, so I can prospect what I mine and or prospect what's on the auction house and sell money from profits there, but also because you can make a ton of money farming, uh, mining, and ice crown. So I will make a character for mining and ice crown. I already have a character for disenchanting and reselling the mass. And that's maybe about 20 gold so far. And it only took me about an hour and a half to make that character. I'll sh put up another video about how to do that at a later date. But that I would recommend doing. Because there's definitely professions that are good to have that aren't necessarily fun to have. Like my druid has skinning and leatherworking. Skinning makes a lot of money. Leatherworking doesn't. But I want leatherworking for the few patterns that I can get. And just because it's, I'd like to have it. The other ones that I really don't play a lot, they'll be for money. I won't spend money on them. My money will go to my main, but it'll be, you know, give me some money to have fun and play around with. Alright, have a good one. Enjoy.